I think what's going to be interesting to see who has the advantage. Oh, oh big left hand. I'm saying, wow. wow. Islam Makhachev. Wow. Looking forward to this one, Brian Stan. Islam Makhachev taking on Chris Wade in a division in which there is just never any margin for error. Oh, runs into another nice left hand. Here's that guillotine from Wade. He's trying to lock it up. Makhachev gets the knee cleared. Good transition by Wade, though. Now back on top and wins another scramble. Boy, he's so strong. Can't tell if he's got it. Okay, good job by Makachev to let Dan Riviata know. Makachev. Oh, and he committed so hard to the choke and the crank that he lost position. Huge opportunity here. Got to be hard to know when to bail on something like that. That, that is typically a low percentage choke. But you never know. I mean, Chris Wade can catch guys with that all the time, and, and that's why he's so confident in it. But now he's got Makachev on his back, looking to get that second hook in. Wade turning his head to prevent Makachev from getting under the chin. But it looks like these two lightweights will go the distance. And there is the final horn. They fight, he fights Southpaw to try and, and set up his takedown. Uh, one of the biggest complaints in the gym is that he doesn't use it enough. Here you see Nick Lentz getting into the tie-up position. Speak your mind, sir. Maybe not in this one, right? Mark, <laughs> there you go, Makachev with a beautiful trip, just with like you trip. said. Yeah, and those guys are so good in those positions. And then when they're on top, they're phenomenal grapplers. But he is dominating. You just kind of think that at this level, when a guy has that much potential, trying to look for a finish. And here he's finally getting to a position where he can get some big strikes off. He, yeah, landed some real good shots here. He's got the back, hard oh, shots there here. It is. This could be it. A minute to go. He's got plenty of time to work here from this position. Full back mount. He is dominating Nick Lentz. We know Lentz can take some punishment. Top position time, nearly 10 minutes for Makachev. These strikes starting to soften up Nick Lentz. And Nick Lentz nice has job escaped. By Nick. Yeah, he's escaped one of those hooks, and now he's back up to his feet. Nick Lentz is just <laughs> as durable and as tough as, as they, they come. come. Yep. <laughs> Another one of those throws. Yeah, beautiful job and excellent control by Makachev. A clear victory for Makachev. For Makachev, I think the key is going to be speed and fluidity. He's got to stay moving. He's, he's got to stay quick, in and out, use his footwork as he's doing here, and he can give Tabao a lot of problems. I think what's going to be interesting to see who has the advantage. Oh, oh big left hand. I'm saying, wow. wow. Islam Makachev. Wow. Out of nowhere, I was about to say, it's going to be interesting to see who has the advantage when it comes to striking. And that was answered real quick. Big so, punch. I mean, he couldn't even talk about it. It was so quick. Wow. First big engagement there. The reason, the reason Cajun's so much on the side of the octagon is because Islam's just cutting them off. Now, this is where he's good at, right? Securing the double leg. And now this guy goes to work. He'll trap his feet. There you see it. Khabib does that. They trap your feet with their legs so that you can't build back up to your knees. Pull him down into you, or shove down at the knees to try to recover your guard. Well, Johnson was certainly expecting that he'd get a heavy dose of this tonight. Makhachev trying to set up a submission here, DC. Yep, and you know, these guys do combat sambo their entire lives, you know? So if you present an opportunity to get a sub, it's over. He'll go get it. There it is. He's got the arm. And there there's the tap. Another big finish for Islam. Wow. You got to so be careful there. Another quick night at the office for the oncoming lightweight force, Islam Makhachev. Running a four-fight win streak, Islam Makhachev. They touch him up, Sarukian in the red, Makhachev in the gray. Sarukian's been bowling around fight week with this glint in his eye. What would you say, Paul? You're, you're taking... Oh, man. That's interesting. Both those guys yeah, just both slipped guys. right here in this first round. Very unfortunate. Great. Makachev said that although his four-fight winning streak is impressive, five is definitely more impressive, and he'll start making some ambitious call-outs. Oh, oh, lovely slip straight, straight to mount. mount. That is exemplary. What a beautiful sequence. 
and he's trapped the arm as well. Yeah, so Rukian's only got his left arm to help defend himself. Terrible position. Cries of Islam are ringing Look around. Look at those heavy hips, beautiful butterfly work from Sarukian. Really nice work, great oh, scramble. He's got to watch his neck, goodness. he's got to watch his neck. Squared up well, but he's going to get snapped down here. Or need in the face. Yep. Yeah, he blocked that well, though, Sarukian did. He's trying to, trying to throw his arm to the side to create some space. Oh, oh nice. Oh, that's lovely. Good scramble to top position, beautiful though. Beautiful job. That's Sarukian. pretty lovely, too. And I think Markashev senses that, gets a yeah. big takedown. See, has has Sarukin already thrown the kitchen sink at this point? What look, is... look at that leg control, beautiful binding of the legs there. This is the speciality of this team, really. Oh, what's yeah. he getting there? And it's the wrist bar. What's there it called? It Dagestani handcuff. Dagestani handcuff, man. You're on it, Paul. And that's all you, Dan. Ooh. That's all you. What a fight. I'm not stealing that one. What a fight. That was a great fight. Islam A lot of Makashev support in this building. Davi Hamosh trying to mute the Abu Dhabi masses here. Oh, he gets him with the knee. Oh, and he hurts him. Huge knee. Hamosh trying to recover. Oh, big punches. Huge punches landing. These guys are going after it right now. Machev wants that finish. And Hamos is able to get himself a little bit together, get the overhooks, buy himself some time. That's what that lock on his legs are doing. Some conversation was going on there. Not sure exactly what. Final seconds of the fight. Islam Akashev looking to put the finishing touches on what would be his seventh UFC win in eight tries. Outstanding effort. From awesome. the Dagestan native Islam Makashi. All rounds begin on the feet. Dober trying to find a home for that patented left hand. No surprise, Javier Mendez and Khabib Nurmagomedov want Makashev to pursue another takedown. There's a single leg shot. But now Drew Dober's arm's gonna be gassed out. It's gonna be really hard for him to get off those punches, and I think he's gonna be more reluctant to throw kicks. Now he knows how strong it is. Look at that, it's, that, that it's all the trips. Yeah, it's all the beautiful. trips when they get you along the side of the octagon, right? Drew Dober was able to defend the initial takedown, defend the shot off the leg, lifted the underhook, put him back against the fence, and then went to the inside off the trip. Great job by Islam. Drew is uh, trying to get that Kimura. One thing it might be able to do for him is open up space where he can get back up to his feet if he's got the energy. Stay off the spine, Islam. Stay off the spine. I would rather see that modified than not. He's trying real hard with his very Seems like we've seen a change in strategy for Dober trying to get offensive here off of his back. Look at the shoulder pressure though. Look at Dober's face. Oh, 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 oh. Islam Akashev submits wow. Drew Dober. Wow. Wow. Just that shoulder pressure. I was just saying, look at the shoulder pressure by Islam right. and he gets the finish. Wow. Wow. Just swarmed. Now he knows. Right? You don't know until you know. Man. Everybody knows. Everybody Dude's knows. Dude's the real deal. Yeah. And for him to be 15 right now is crazy. He is one of the top 10, if not top five, lightweights in the world. Yeah. And tonight he showed that.